man, good people of the world, good people of the world. What's going on, man? Hey, man. Welcome to another episode of Rev Mio TV, man. I pray that everybody is feeling blessed today. It sure feel good to be free, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, man. Before you dial 911 on our youth, before you call the police on them, man, try to grab hold of them and speak life into them. You know what I'm saying? Try to grab hold of them and speak life into them into them man try to do it on a regular basis man each one teach one man As a matter of fact each one teach plenty you understand what i'm saying shout out to my partner man george oliver jump forward incorporated man um shout out man to uh a man the good guy over there man at uh life and football mr colin uh mr colin over there man um but uh hey i want to talk today man about T.D. Jakes and Diddy. T.D. Jakes and Diddy, right? Um, Y'all know I am a preacher. Y'all know I served a lot of time in prison. Um, I am licensed and ordained. Man, as a matter of fact, I might pull my stuff. Now, if I pull my stuff off the wall, then I ain't going to... I'll show y'all one of them. No, I ain't going to show because I, 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 I have to pull my stuff off the wall. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then my other little pocket one is in, is in, uh, it, it's, it's not in here with me. So, but anyway, I'll show my stuff one day, man. Um, I want to talk today about Diddy and T.D. Jakes, right? And I'm going to speak from an objective point of view. Um, this is my subject for real. When you're talking about something that's dealing with a man of God or the house of God, that's really my subject. I'm just a little bit different in my um, journey in ministry because of what my journey have been. T.D. Jakes have not been down my path. Uh, Creflo Dollar ain't been down my path. They ain't slung dope. They ain't shot them pistols and stuff like that. I have. You understand what I'm saying? They ain't spent time in prison. Joel Osteen and them, they got their place. Um, and I'm a bit different on some stuff. But anyway, we're going to talk about this today, man. Let's talk about Diddy and T.D. Jakes, man. Pastor T.D. Jakes, man. Um, let me say this first. As a businessman, man, I got a lot of respect for Diddy. As a businessman, um, I know we hear a lot of negative stuff about him in the news and stuff in the media about how he mistreated his artists and stuff like that. But just as a businessman and seeing him, watching him succeed, I got a lot of respect for him. For T.D. Jakes, I got a lot of respect for him um, in business as well and the stuff he do with his films and movies and stuff, books. But I got a lot of respect for him in the ministry and his ministry overall, right? I got a lot of respect for him. Um... I do also, like T.D. Jakes is one of those preachers that I love to listen to because I love how he break down his stories, his illustrations, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to certain stuff, I'm, I'm, I'm in disagreement with how they, um, with how they handle stuff or rather, uh, rather they don't handle certain stuff, you know what I'm saying? Certain stuff I talk about with the church, they don't talk about. I do. I'm not afraid of losing uh, members. I'm not a pastor of a church. I'm not afraid of a, you know not 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 meeting my budget. I don't have that issue. Um, I, I'm not afraid of losing um, uh, TV contracts and stuff like that. But anyway, let's talk about this right here. So we know in the news they've been saying that T.D. Jakes was seen at a Diddy party. And they say it goes down at Diddy's parties, right? So with that being said, right, um, 
People been on T.D. Jason saying, well, he shouldn't have been there. He shouldn't have been there, man. No preacher got no business. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no party with Diddy and this, that, and the other, and this, that, and the third, or whatever. Well, I'm not going to crucify him for being at the party, right? So let's break it down. Number one, they say he was at the party. They got pictures of him at the party, whatever, videos of him at the party, right? Okay, cool. Let's also remember that the Bible said that the Pharisees came talking about Jesus, talking about he over there sitting with the sinners, right? We don't understand what the overall relationship is with Pastor T.D. Jakes and Diddy. We don't understand if they have a mentor-mentee relationship uh, what kind of business relationship that they have, if they swap business ideas. Um, we don't understand that. I would like to think that over the years, Diddy have probably called T.D. Jakes in his times of need for spiritual advice. You know what I'm saying? Um, somebody that he can share his, uh, his hurts or his pains with, probably, right? And I'm just guessing. Now, if T.D. Jakes would have been involved in some sexual activities at this party, it would have been a came out. Let me repeat that. If T.D. Jakes would have been involved in some sexual activities at this party, it would have been came out. You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't have been able to get away with that. You got a party full of hundreds of people. He wouldn't have been able to get away with the fact that, man, he T.D. Jakes, he the biggest preacher probably in the country or maybe even the world, who knows, but, 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 but he's a big name preacher. He got millions of followers. He would not have been able to get away with um, nobody not telling or, you know, trying to conceal the fact that he was, even if it was with a woman or a man or whatever, he wouldn't have been able to hide that, man. That would have been out. That would have been big news. You know what I'm saying? So so my thing is, I don't think he was at the party doing nothing. Now, we know what the Bible say. The Bible say in Romans, the 13th chapter and the 12th verse, it say something about don't, don't, um, do not attend or take part in drunk in uh, drinking parties um, with drunkenness, or something like that. I'm kind of paraphrasing, right? But we don't know if he was drinking or if he was there for some kind of moral support. We don't know what led up to him being there, right? But nonetheless, he was there, okay? But I don't think that's just something to just crucify T.D. Jakes over, just being there, right? It ain't like he was at the club in the VIP section at um, you know what I'm saying, whatever the popular club is these days or whatever. Um, that's not the case. He was at Diddy's house apparently, or, or or some other kind of venue. And from what I look, you know what I'm saying, and saw on the video and the pictures, is he was just kind of there just chilling, socializing or whatever. You don't know who he could have reached. At that party. We don't know man. You know what I'm saying. I'm just saying we can't crucify him right. And then. I saw one. Um, I, I saw one um, YouTuber. Went so far as to say. Well. TDJ son is gay right. Well. I don't know if TDJ son is, is gay or not man. But even. If he is. Even if his son is gay. It don't make T.D. Jakes gay. You know what I'm saying? Even if he is, it don't make T.D. Jakes gay. You know what I'm saying? I got somebody that's near and dear to me that's in that lifestyle. Well, that don't, you know what I'm saying, have no bearing on me. You know what I mean? And I ain't going to love him no less. So, to me, that's like a moot point. But let's look at the Bible, right? We held David to be um, what is considered the greatest king that Israel ever had.
King David. We hail David to be the greatest king that Israel ever had, right? But we forget that the turmoil that David had in his household, right? We know what David did. We know he committed adultery. We know he had Uriah killed, right? But what did the Bible say in 2 Samuel? David's house was in turmoil, right? David, his son, raped his daughter, okay? Let me put it this way. David's son raped his daughter, who was his sister, Tamar, right? So, so, so then David's other son, Absalom, felt like David did not do enough um, to rectify the situation or to punish that offending brother. So Absalom, oh, he hated David. He hated David. You know what I'm saying? And he ended up trying to kill David. He ended up trying to take over his father's kingdom, all kind of stuff, man. He was in turmoil, right? So even though David, we consider the greatest king of Israel, a man who God said, he's a man after my own heart. He had turmoil in his house. He had stuff that went on in his house with his kids, right? Who he loved, who he raised. Why would we think that T.D. Jakes or anybody else's children is off limits from attack, is off limits from sin, is off limits from you know, worldly uh, distractions or desires or whatever, right? So why would we think that, right? So whether his son is or is not, that ain't got no bearing on T.D. Jakes. Now, now let me tell you why I, I ain't going to use upset, but why I be bothered with a lot of these different preachers and pastors and especially those with the big stage. Because if you got the big stage, you're supposed to have the biggest and the loudest voice too. Right? But a lot of stuff. See, I ain't, look man, I'm not mad at him by going to no party, man. I ain't upset with him by going to no party. I'm not even bothered with him about going to no party. I'm bothered with him because it's certain stuff he won't talk about. Certain stuff he will not talk about okay now he went on uh, he did a couple of interviews T.D. Jakes okay let me let me put it this way about a year or so ago right in the, the, the Jewish community the whole world really man uh, the whole United States of America was paying attention to what was going on with Kyrie Irving and Kanye West, right? The Jewish community accused them of uh, making anti-Semitic remarks and statements or whatever, right? No preachers that I know of, no big name preachers came to their defense because not everything that Kanye said is wrong. Right, I don't. Agree. Listen, I'm not a Kanye fan. Kanye is a wild card. He can say anything, he do anything, or whatever. But not everything he said is wrong. Kyrie Irving didn't do nothing wrong, right? When they talking about who they are, when they talking about them being Israelites, them being Jews, okay, um, that's not an error. Like Nick Cannon, okay, Nick Cannon. We know a couple years ago that um, he he was removed from his own show. Cause they said he was being anti-Semitic. T.D. Jakes, all the rest of them left these brothers hanging out to dry. Now I'm going to show you T.D. Jakes. He did an interview, two interviews really. One interview led to the other interview to talk about the first interview. Where he he said in an interview, see he he's crafty and wise now. He's wise. He said he traced his his lineage, he, t he did DNA tests, and his lineage was traced back to the Igbo people, right? 
Igbo people. The Igbo people are Hebrews, man. Okay? The word Igbo, when you really do a study on it, it means Hebrew. Okay? So if you know this, if you know this, then why do you not speak on it from the pulpit? Right? If you know this, then why do you let all these brothers, not just the Kanye's and the and the Nick Cannons and them, uh, but all the other brothers that's out here trying to get the message across, why do you not say, hey, they're right about what they're saying, about who they are, about where they come from? That's the thing that bothers me. Not the fact that he was at a party with Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Because, and not to take nothing away from his ministry. And I still listen to him. You know what I'm saying? I still love him to death. I love, like I said, I love the way he break down his stories. Right? But at some point, um, he knows that it's very offensive, man, for, for us to know what the truth is. But yet, the world portrays something different. And then every time you say something about it, they accuse you of being one way or another. Come on, man. T.D. Jakes, Joel Osteen, some of the white preachers and pastors know. Right? So T.D. Jakes, that's my, my thing. I'm not even going to say it's an issue with you because maybe you got to get there. Because I know that, um, oh, I, oh, I talk about it from the pulpit. But um, I know that you grew up in a different era from me. In your era and the era before you, it was some things you couldn't say, man. Your, your life would have been in danger. Them folks probably would have hung you uh, 40 years ago for saying something like that in the pool pit or whatever, right? Ain't nobody going to hang you now. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, man, that's my thing. Um, T.D. Jakes, hey, listen, man, I don't think we should crucify the brother for... Uh, for um, being at a party with Diddy. We don't know what that was really all about. We don't really know what their relationship was or is. We don't understand it. We don't know um, how much Diddy have probably called on him for advice. Uh, he need a prayer. Uh, he needs, you know what I'm saying? He need uplifting over the years. We don't know the answer to that, man. You know, so, hey man, T.D. Jakes, Thank you for being a, a leader. I would just ask that what you said on that interview about being Igbo, I would just ask as a minister myself, I would just ask that you um, do a series and break it down and teach it for real, for real in the pool pit. Teach it for real, for real. In the pool pit, so that millions and millions can hear it. We got your back. We love you. We ain't worry about you being no party, man. Hey, man, continue to be blessed. I continue to pray for you. Um, I, 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 I admire you, you know. So, uh, and uh, as far as Diddy goes, man, I don't know what Diddy got going on in his life. Um, it, it's probably some question marks there from my perspective. It's some question marks there, right? You know, but that it ain't for me to judge the situation because I don't, I don't know him or T.D. Jakes personally. I never had a conversation with him, but, uh, if somebody who knows T.D. Jakes see this video, I would ask that you would send it to him. And ask him to watch this video all the way through. Okay? And, um, hey, Bishop Jakes, love you. Thank God for you. And, um, hey, man, uh, just, just, just keep leading the people. All right? God bless and take care. Rev Mio TV.